In just three years time, 3.2 million properties in England and Wales will overnight become illegal to rent out. To put that into context, that's enough homes to house every subscriber to this channel. Or to put it another way, more than the populations of Liverpool, Nottingham, Sheffield and Bristol put together. So what's happening? Will you be affected and what can you do about it? Well, stick around because I'll explain. Well, it's all to do with EPCs, which stands for Energy Performance Certificates. They've been around since 2007 and they're supposed to measure how energy efficient a building is. They're graded on bands A to G and every privately rented property must have one before it's rented out. EPCs are part of a set of regulations called MIS, which as well as being the plural of mouse, means that all rented properties in England and Wales need to score at least an E in order to be legally rented out. So far, so boring, but here's the twist. There's currently a proposal to raise the bar again from E to C. This would apply to all new tenancies from the end of 2025 and then to all existing tenancies from the end of 2028. In terms of saving energy, this is lovely. But there's one small catch. It's estimated that only one third of rental homes currently meet that standard. That means that 3.2 million homes will have to be brought up to standard in just three years in order to be rented out legally to a new tenant. If you're thinking, but that sounds impossible. Well, yes it does. It's hard enough to get a tradesperson to even quote for a job at the moment without having another million jobs per year added to their schedule. Then there's the cost. It's estimated to cost a minimum of £7,646 per property, which is £25.7 billion in total. Now, as we know, landlords are all greedy millionaires sleeping on beds of their tenants' hard-earned wages, but £25 billion could be a stretch even for them. And then there's the small problem that for an estimated 1.7 million properties, it'll be literally impossible. Many older properties can't be brought up to standard without basically ripping them down and starting again. And then there are blocks of flats where whole block heating systems or roof insulation might need replacing, which isn't within an individual flat owner's control. Now, the government does recognise some of these challenges, which is where exemptions come in. If you read the actual bill itself, two out of 10 poor character development would not read again, it does have a clause about affordability exemptions. It doesn't state the amount, but a separate document gives a figure of £10,000, which means that you'll be required to spend a maximum of £10,000, and if that still hasn't got you up to standard, that's okay, you'll be exempt. But even so, that's a lot of money, and you can imagine there being such a scramble for work to get done before the deadline that prices could just go up and up. So should you start thinking about this now? Well, I've got some recommendations for what you should be doing now, coming up in just a moment. But first, you need to ask yourself, is this actually going to happen? At the moment, this is just a bill, which has only had its first reading in Parliament. There's a long way for it to go before it becomes law, with many opportunities for amendments along the way. There's also been a consultation into the proposals, which the government hasn't published the results of yet. Now, I have absolutely no inside information whatsoever, but I think it's very likely that we'll see the implementation date pushed back and the criteria loosened. Why? Because by the time this bill becomes law, there'll be practically no time left before it's due to actually come into force. And while I think that the requirement will stay as a C, because it sounds good, getting a C might just be made easier. The EPC methodology hasn't been updated since 2012, and it's due to be updated again in 2025, so it wouldn't be shocking to see this pushed back until after that's happened. Because all in all, having wonderfully energy efficient homes is lovely, but having millions of perfectly good homes suddenly made illegal overnight just isn't a sensible outcome. That's my opinion, but what's yours? I'd love to know, so let me know in the comments. But regardless of how exactly this plays out, the general drive to improve energy standards isn't going anywhere, and mortgage lenders are under pressure to improve the average rating of their loan book, with some lenders already offering products that are only available to properties with a rating of C and above. So what should you be doing now then? Firstly, check the EPC of any property you're planning to buy. If it's below a C, look at the recommendations to see if there's likely to be a quick and cheap fix to bring it up. If there isn't, for example, it's in a block of flats and the whole block would need to change its heating system, then it's a judgment call for you. As a worst case, you could just mentally add £10,000 to the purchase price on the basis that that's gonna be the cap. And if you're still happy with the deal at that price, then do it. Then for properties you already own, review your EPCs and see if any of them are below a C. 
And again, if they are, look at the recommendations and see if there's anything you can do to bring them up, because then you can plan ahead and get works done at the next change of tenancy. You could also get your old EPCs redone and see if you get lucky and get a higher rating. I'm going to upset a lot of energy assessors by saying this, but it's not an exact science and a marginal D could become a C next time around. For any larger work that's needed, personally, I wouldn't be committing to the cost before the details of the new law are confirmed, but you might be more proactive or just a nicer person when it comes to the planet than I am. So all in all, I'd say don't panic, but do keep an eye on this as it makes its way to the coming law. One way of doing that is to sign up for our weekly news update. It's free, it's only a five minute read, and you'll find the link to that in the description. And if you think these are the only changes on the horizon, then think again. Watch this video next where I'll run you through even more significant changes that you need to know about.